What's up everybody? In this video I'm going to try to repair a 14 year old PC monitor. Over the past couple years the image has started to shake left and right. And I'm thinking it might be a crack solder joint or a bad capacitor. To make sure the monitor was the problem, I tried two different VGA cables and I also tried two different computers and the monitor still shaked. So it's definitely a problem with the monitor. So I took it apart, discharged the monitor. It's very similar to an arcade monitor. Pulled the chassis out and I tested all the capacitors with my ESR meter I found six that read kinda bad on the main board and then I took apart the neck board and it's got this big shield thing on it and when when I pulled this off this giant solder ball fell out so that might have caused a problem right there and the neck board itself had the most bad capacitors. There's 10 that are reading pretty bad on here. So I ordered the capacitors and they should come in the mail pretty soon. So in the meantime, I looked over all the solder joints, looked for cracked joints, and I found a bunch of them. Here's some pictures. Touch up the crack solder joints. I also visually inspected all the components really good, all the resistors and stuff. See if there was anything that looked bad, like brown and burnt out. But all that stuff looks good. I re-soldered all the VGA pins and the header pins on this board. This is the VGA board. So this is a 250 volt, one microfarad cap. And on my ESR meter, it reads 33 in circuit. And according to the chart, it should read no higher than 8.7. So this is a really bad cap. And I pulled it out of the circuit board and I'm going to retest it with it out of circuit. And now it reads 30. So this is definitely a bad cap. So here are the new caps. And this one reads 4. It should read no higher than 8.7. Okay, I've got it all back together. Fingers crossed, I'm going to test it out. So far, so good. Hey, 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 hey. At least I didn't blow it up. I'll test it out for a few hours, or even I'll come back in a couple days. I'll get a, some good use out of it and fill you in on if I fixed the shaking. I notice all the text is a lot crisper now that it's got brand new caps. So that did something, improved it. Now I'm going to paint the gray bezel of the monitor. What makes this monitor so awesome is it's 4x3 
CRT and it has a rounded front to it which is similar to a real arcade monitor. So now the monitor is installed in the cabinet. Okay, it's three days later and I've run it about three or four hours every night and the shaking is gone. Before it would shake like every five or ten minutes for about 20 seconds. So it was pretty consistent when it did it. So it ended up being 16 capacitors and a bunch of cracked solder joints. <laughs> The high resolution of the PC monitor makes vector games look really good. It's a pretty awesome feeling to fix something that was broken for just a few dollars.